Hello everyone. So today you're going to find out what you're being divinely guided towards or what you're being divinely guided to, <laughs> you know? So we have three different groups, one, two, and three. Whatever number or deck calls out to you, that's going to be your reading. The timestamps for each one will be in the description and the comment section. So look for them there. And if you need more time, pause the video because we're going to get right on into this. All right, so we're going to see what you're being divinely guided towards. <laughs> All right, so for number one, what are you being divinely guided towards? This, oh, the five of pentacles in reverse with the ten of pentacles underneath. So any financial issues right now, if you're out of a job or you've just been spending way too much and you're worrying about bills or even just an overall general worry about your financial future, you're coming out of this. All right. <laughs> you are coming out of this. So do not worry. I see this improving. This could even be certain issues going on in your home and with your family. If there has been something that has happened in your family, maybe, you know, you guys just aren't together as you used to be, or something actually did happen, you're being divinely guided through this and the situation will improve. It will get better. Okay. So let's see. For number one, what are they being divinely guided to? Now we're going to lay out all the cards before we get talking here, but that message really wanted to pop out at you and just let you know that, that you will be okay. Your loved ones will be okay. Whatever hard issue you're going through right now, and it's definitely in regards to either finances or home and family, it's, you're going to find your way through this. You're, you're being divinely guided almost like to be there for other people too or someone to come and help you out in a way all right so group number one what are they being divinely guided towards the wheel of fortune see your situation will change and the two of cups <laughs> okay let's see let's get one more hard times are definitely ending for you and when it comes to love, like you're being divinely guided to all the right people that you're generally going to connect with. If you just heard that, that was my cat, my, my temperance. People are going to heal you, uplift you, add value to your life, see you for you. Some of you guys, you could have recently gotten out of a relationship or you just feel like you've never had <laughs> so much luck <laughs> when it came to love in general. But this story of your love life your financial, your home, your family struggles, that's changing. That's changing for the better. You're being, honestly, look at this. <laughs> the topic is, what are you being divinely guided towards? This wheel of fortune with this temperance, this couldn't be any more divine guidance. So just know that you are good. Trust love, trust yourself. When people come into your life, especially when it seems like really unexpectedly you may think oh is this too good to be true um you may have a hard time trusting what you're feeling or even like more so just others or you know what you should actually be doing but you can't go wrong you can't go wrong in your action right now honestly what you're being advised to do is to just move forward keep your head up keep looking after yourself and and taking care of yourself and making better choices for yourself overall because everything's going to fall into alignment here people who generally love and support you and i see this being um yes in the work life but also in your personal life too and again anything going on in your home family life that that's going to be healed i see you guys will come together again or people will come together like your situation is going to improve all around but most of all when it comes to love and connection and your finances. Some of you guys are being divinely guided to move closer back to your loved ones or just move where your heart is telling you to go right now. And I feel as though you're being divinely guided to go towards this move um, because it's almost like <laughs> there's people that you're supposed to be there for or that you're supposed to meet that will happen as a result of you sort of taking a chance on yourself and, and moving. 
Now, that may not be for everybody, but if you've been wondering if you should move somewhere, okay, specifically closer to somebody or just a certain location you really feel drawn towards, this is your sign, like, go for it because you're divinely led, you're being divinely led to do so. Um, let's see, we're going to get some oracle cards here, but I just want you to know, like, don't stress, like, you will get out of this and whoever you care about who is going through a hard time because i get like there's something going on with your family or maybe you just feel like it's hard to get people to notice you or hard to trust people you're gonna come out of that all right so let's see and even if i know i said earlier if some of you guys get out of a breakup um <laughs> You know, but some of you guys, you could still be with this person, but maybe there's just some stressors going on that's causing you guys to be a little bit distant within your current relationship. Okay, this is for people who are already with their person. Um, you guys are going to come out of that. I see you guys actually becoming closer because of these struggles and these hard times that you've had to face, even though it feels a little bit distant right now. All right, so let's see. What are you even, what are you being divinely led towards? Yeah, and I feel like this resolution within your finances or, I don't know, it could even just be worrying about the longevity of the career that you're in now, like wanting more expansion, wanting more growth, but feeling like it's sort of hard to get that because I get that you are somebody who really craves security, stability, that is like the number one thing for you, okay? And not even just in terms of finances, you want somebody like if you're going to be with somebody you want somebody to bring that same type of energy to you like someone you can actually depend on trust has their stuff together and i see this <laughs> being the case for you eventually here <laughs> if you're not already with this person but i feel like family what did i say something's going on with your family i feel like right now you really need to be there for your family and for your friends and that's where your focus should be i know it may be hard because it's like okay i gotta keep up with my career there's things i gotta do back at home or you know i gotta show up and go to this job every day but if you can take some time off or at least set some time aside for your family your friends your loved ones this is what you're being divinely led towards right now because i feel like there's somebody who really needs you and you're gonna know who this person is because that's no coincidence how that came out. And I was feeling that. I'm even getting that you guys are being divinely led to a connection with somebody that you will start a family with if you don't have that already or if you're not already involved. Um, but definitely more focus. <laughs> more focus on the family and the friends. People who are that you love. Because there's something going on here. Like somebody's struggling going through a hard time and they need you and I see that you could even be struggling yourself a little bit but it's gonna be what heals everybody involved by you all coming together music okay your connection to music is healing for yourself and others so yeah music could be um look you got practice underneath here so some of you guys are musicians or music can just be very healing to you during this time and sort of be a guide for you like kind of hinting at where you should go from here like you're probably somebody who like um <laughs> sings a lot randomly or you'll get a song stuck in your head and I feel like that's because this is like divine guidance coming through to you but if you are actually creating music yourself in some type of way this is your sign that you're being divinely guided on this path like keep practicing daily not just a sometimes type of thing and have your focus be community have generally reaching people from a heart-based place because that's when you're going to really see improvement and growth within what you're doing um career-wise and creatively okay but yeah that's a that was a very strong message about like something's going on with somebody's family member right now or you know it's just been hard financially and maybe you feel like you can't provide for your family like something around that nature and as i said others of you this is just you generally wanting somebody that you can build a family with but you know you kind of feel like it's so far out of reach but this is telling you it's not far out of reach at all you know pick yourself up focus on bettering yourself getting yourself in a better financial but also just overall health 
standpoint sorry for my communication mercury i feel like i was so blocked that's why i couldn't do a reading it was just not it was not common to me like i just couldn't get my words out but you know just build yourself up and this person will come in you just gotta trust though you you gotta trust <laughs> Okay, so you got crystals. So some of you guys could be into crystals. You could do healing modalities. You, you could even be like a reader into music or anything creative as well. You're definitely being guided to nurture that gift, to nurture that creativity, whatever it is that you're currently involved in. Um, but honestly, guys, like, you know, these hard times won't last for you or for your loved one, someone that you care about. Like I see you coming together nicely with another person. All right, so let's see, let's get a couple more. All right, for number one, what are they being divinely led towards? It's like, it's like someone needs you right now. And I know I already said that a little bit, but it's, it's like in two different ways. Somebody in your personal life, your family, and also people in the world need your music they need your art so don't ever think that you're not special you may think that there's nothing like <laughs> big and crazy that you do but actually like you're needed you're needed in ways that will reach the right people so you know that's something you need to hear as well yang proactivity expression doing and forward motion yes <laughs> And it's funny because you got the Wheel of Fortune here too. And Wheel of Fortune's all about forward motion. But sometimes when we get caught up in the thick of it, we could be striving to move forward, but it just kind of feels like we're repeating the same old cycle. So if you've been feeling like there is an endless loop of problems in your home, your relationships, your finances, career, whatever the case may be, you know, once you really just, okay, I got to just not focus on that change up with how you're viewing things and come from this more heart based place and give your attention to the right people and to the right things. That's when you're going to break out of that loop. All right. So check out people influence you. Also the music you listen to. How does that influence you as well? Right. So you're being divinely led to express yourself more. Be proactive in getting yourself out of this situation because you're not meant to stay here. <laughs> you know, this is like what you're being divinely led towards. Like <laughs> divine's playing a big part in this, but you, you got to meet them halfway. You got to meet God, your angels, your ancestors, you know, whoever it is that you're deeply connected with. Let's see. Group number one, what are they being divinely led towards? And you know, there's a purpose, there's a reason for everything. So even when we feel like we're stuck <laughs> in the same old cycle and it's like, okay, like I'm ready to branch out of this and it feels kind of hard to reach, you know, just know that there's, there's a purpose for it all. And it's almost like you're meant to reach certain people at the certain point that you're at right now. Like, I know that may sound kind of weird, but I'm getting, especially for those who are into something creative or spiritually in tuned in some type of way, you may feel like you're experiencing issues and growing, but actually with where you're at the point right now, it's because you're meant to reach people that are also at that same level. That's what I'm getting with that. Wisdom of the Magi or Magi. <laughs> Mental clarity. Yeah. See, I just feel like you've been doubting your path way too much. You feel like you don't fit in or because it's not giving you the growth that you've hoped for. Like you've just been kind of stuck at this point. But, you know, all you really got to focus on right now is community. Surrounding yourself with true people who generally connect, support you, and also people in your personal life outside of career. Mental clarity is coming. There's going to be changes in your mindset, enhancements in your gifts. A lot of you guys are psychic or you're very strongly intuitive. And I see you using this in your work. A lot of you will be readers or if you're not, you definitely are into like music. Um, it could even be like a normal job that you have, but it's like you have a gift that's going to be enhancing that you're going to be incorporating into it, like using it 
for your benefit, if that makes sense. So you could be like a teacher, you could be a nurse, a doctor, um, but it's like you're going to grow more intuitive and psychic. So it's like you, you have a natural way of knowing how to reach people and exactly what they're needing to hear or see. Like that's what I'm getting for you, no matter what your profession is. Um, and some of you guys, if you're out of work right now, that's definitely going to change. Maybe you had to take some time off of work because of a family matter or you went through something that kind of like a dis like, oh, I don't know, like <laughs> maybe you lost a job or you just got sick or something like that um but you know you're being divinely led to heal focus on you do what you got to do um because everything's gonna fall into place so honestly this is like really good because this kind of touched on every single area here your finances they're going to improve but the biggest message here is like don't focus so much on what the stats say okay don't focus too much on the finances on you know how am I going to pay my bill? Like little stresses like that, feeling like you got to keep up with the, with the going, like spend some time to chill out and to connect with the people who generally love and care about you and meaning your family, your friends, because there's something going on. Like somebody needs you right now. Um, and also just the people in your own community, especially if you, you know, people who support your work. <laughs> like focus on community focus on reaching people not just trying to elevate status and that's always going to bring you home that's always going to bring it to the next level and shift things for you all right and as i said those of you some of you you just feel like man you know i really want a person that's all about me that i can trust I don't even know if that's possible. Somebody who's on the same wavelength when it comes to terms of what I want out of life, I can build a family with or, you know, travel and build a home with. And you're being divinely led to this. But, you know, you got to be that person for yourself first. And I also do feel like there's some sort of um, profession or creative talent that you will come in. Like you need to nurture that first and then this person will come in. And as I said, those of you who are in a relationship, maybe there's been a little bit of tension or distance between you two because of financial or family matters. But I see you guys growing through this and only growing closer as a result of this. If you are in a relationship now, this person generally does love you. They have your back. Um, and I don't see them going anywhere as long as you're not. <laughs> and I don't think you will. All right. So let's get into your letters. Huh. <sighs> Man, <laughs> I say a handful. I need to get better with how I communicate. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel like the human experience can be truly difficult, messy, and an emotional roller coaster. I embrace all of my humanity. I embrace all of me. I am good enough. That's a little affirmation that just popped up on my TV right now. I feel like that was meant to be for you. Let's see, you're number one. What are they being divinely led towards? Yeah, it's like, you know, there's certain things that you want to see happen for your life, the love, the community, the career, but a part of you feels like you're not good enough, you know? I see you still working towards it, but you kind of feel, you you almost like burn yourself out sometimes. Um, And you could even like, like hold yourself back from showing what you got or creating certain things because it's like, huh. Eh. Like maybe you, yeah, because you think you're bad sometimes. I don't know, something bad could have happened recently or you just feel like something bad is going to happen and you're really stressed out about that. This is just letting you know like you are good. If something bad did just happen, it's going to get better. Like, because I was feeling that very strongly. The way with the five of pentacles in reverse, you know. Um, but if you are afraid of something bad happening, this is just saying like, that's just kind of you thinking you're not good enough or you won't be able to keep up what you have going for you. Nothing bad is going to happen. Like these are all great cards. The only thing bad that was going on was, you know, how you are feeling right now, but you're coming out of this. And I feel like it's because you actually just kind of went through something in the home, the family life or financially. All right. We're just feeling like you don't fit in. All right. So on to the next one. Pay. Look. <laughs> Your pay is going to increase. I feel like this also goes to say, like, you guys need to treat your body and your mind much more kinder. 
Okay, so if you're doing certain things that are not in your best interest to be doing, now it's time to check those things. All right. Me. We're getting the name Jeff here. <laughs> All right, so let us know if there's a Jeff out there. <laughs> Pay your way. Pay your way. Hmm. I see you finding your own unique source of income. And some of you guys, especially if you're already a content creator, you already do have that to some degree. But I see it enhancing in some type of way. Like maybe you'll receive don donations or money that was kind of like put away somewhere and you forgot about. Or you may start to invest your money or something like that. I am getting like, you're definitely setting yourself up in a good financial position. Um... And I feel like you already have it, but it's almost like you're kind of like, you put a lot of scarcity around it. Like you're afraid to lose it deep down. Um, and maybe you feel that way because you kind of want to change up what you're doing or you've been feeling like, man, should I change up what I'm doing? Because like, I don't know, like <laughs> maybe it just doesn't align with you or you feel like it's not being perceived well, but just trust what you feel. Okay. Because... You'll never be guided wrong, especially with these cards coming up. This is telling you you're 100% divinely guided to make these changes, um, to expand, to grow, and to be where you are right now. And this is also reassuring you that any... I gotta keep saying it because I felt that so strong. That like popped right out at us. Any issue you're going through financially, with keeping up in the family life, it's going to improve fit yeah see some of you guys it's really time to like make better choices about how you're treating your body um that's gonna help you leaps and bounds <laughs> with your mentality to like <laughs> mind body spirits all connected when you start opening your mind up to new ways new information and you challenge okay i'm not gonna keep thinking this i'm not gonna keep feeling this same way because honestly when you look at it all of our suffering basically comes from our minds. Like, you know, of course there's occasions when like our back hurts like mine right now <laughs> or things like that. But most of our suffering comes from our mind, you know, mind, body, spirit. It's all connected. So if you challenge yourself and like, no, I'm going to work on adapting a new mindset and you consistently show up like that, you're going to find yourself doing new things like forming better habits for yourself overall once you're thinking better consistently and it becomes programmed within you and same reversed you know if you decide okay today I'm going to go for a walk and you know I'm going to work out you're instantly going to feel so much better on a mental letter le ugh, level I said letter so maybe some of you guys will be receiving a letter soon um I'm getting like in a PO box or um a letter from like a business or a corporation like a talent agency or something too because that kind of reminds me with this <laughs> now that's a kind of um you know but eventually you never know how things could lead but anyway let me get back to what I was saying yeah you're gonna start to feel better on a whole new mental level so you know, I just think there needs to be more of a focus of how these things actually do tie into one. And I think you guys already know that, but maybe perhaps you've just been sort of sleeping on it. Pixar. Is this how you spell Pixar? That's so funny. Yeah, that's okay. I just saw like talent agency and Pixar is like, you know, that Disney thing. <laughs> like the little jumping lamp. You know what's funny? Like, actually, I was told that as a baby, that was like my favorite thing. Like whenever I would hear it, I would come running and hop, <laughs> and hop in with it. But that's a really good sign. Oh my goodness. I think you guys are really going to get into the entertainment indus industry if you're not already. And I mean like a bigger way, like showbiz or something. Hmm. Ne like you never know how things could expand or maybe some of you just need to go need to watch a good old fashioned movie with your family too that, that's just that could be another thing but i don't know i feel like there's that's not a coincidence how i was said that and then pixar showed up so you got meet yeah you're definitely gonna be meeting new people 
and I mean this in a love sense if you're single, um, but I also mean this when it comes to people who are interested in the same things as you, like-minded people that you can sort of team up with and grow with, genuine connections. All right, so we got a jack. You're a jack of all trades. I'm getting the name Mira. Hmm. Or Myra. Um. E.T. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are going to be watching E.T. We do got Ella, but there's no extra L. Making my way downtown, walking fast, bitches passing, I'm homebound. Some of you guys are going to be going back home, moving back home, visiting back home. Like, there's something so strong here with, like, family back home. Um, and like I said, it's because some of you guys, like, something actually did just happen. You've been getting the nudge to move closer to family or take a visit to go see family. Others of you, it's just like you actually like want a family, a home, and you feel so locked away from that, whether due to financial reasons or with your current partner, maybe you guys are striving to build a family, build a home, but it's like, okay, can we actually afford that? I see you guys are getting through that. Um, but others of you, you could just be alone and single and you're really feeling it. And it's like, you know, I want my people, but you're going to come out of that hundred percent. Like, this is good. Like you have someone coming your way, you know, you just got to make sure that you actually go for it and don't just fumble it and think, huh, oh, well, how long will this last? Or, <laughs> all right. So let's see. time yeah see it's just a matter of time now i just got that oh, mariah carey song i think it is oh, i don't even know the name of it it's like better in time or that might be liana lewis or something i i'm not i'm really not great at famous people i'll tell you that <laughs> um let's see reels okay so some of you guys could be posting reels or you've been thinking about posting reels there's your sign, okay? Because you're the realist. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I think that we're, I think we're gonna wrap that up. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, we also got the name Tim popping up right here. Some of you guys may have been getting new rims for your car or something with your car done. Um, or like tints. Can we spell tint? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I say um way too much. Let me. All right. <laughs> something with your lips now some of you you may want to get your lips done or you've gotten your lips done or you may even do like cosmetology like that for other people some of you that's not going to be everybody some of you this is just saying like getting into makeup or doing something for yourself or i don't know maybe you got chap lips and you need to get some chapstick <laughs> um i think you do have nice lips though that's what that's saying so maybe you need to see that because maybe that's something you've been a little insecure about. Yeah, guys, I think that that's what I'm getting. I'm also getting the name Wade here. Wade. Um, and felt. Did you feel that? <laughs> All right. So we also got B. Maybe you're going to be seeing bees more often. I mean, I would hope so. We are coming into spring, so. <laughs> I actually seen a bee today for the first time, and it was the queen bee. All right, well, at least that, them, like, big ones. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know how it resonated for you. Um, join me on Patreon if you're interested in more, or if you would like a personal reading. Everything to that is in the description box and the comment section with the timestamps. All right, and I'll see you next time. What are they being divinely guided towards? You have the Hierophant and the Hermit came out at the bottom of this. So I see a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom coming your way and you questioning your methods and how you do things, but only to advance, okay? 
So I see you guys are somebody who is very committed to practice, very committed to your education, taking things a step further. It's like you're a scholar through life. And right now, I see you're being divinely guided to sort of like look back and not not only everything you've learned, but kind of how you can change up what you're currently doing in order to grow beyond, okay? So you're going to be coming into new knowledge, new practices that you can incorporate into what you already have going for you, um, and just like daily routines as well. But I get a very like wise soul from this group. Like some of you guys are in school right now, or you are somebody who is very invested into like religion or spirituality, and you're definitely being guided to share that side of you more do something with the things you're learning and have learned this far so let's see group number two what are they being divinely guided towards i'm getting like your more natural self needs to be seen more because what I'm really feeling drawn towards in this image is this moon right here. And it's like you guys are really intuitive without even knowing it or at least giving yourself the full credit for it. And you may even know this, but you still stick to a certain way of what you're used to. And I feel like it's because you're trying to honor what you've already built. Okay, but you definitely are being called to sort of be more natural with your expression and share some of the things that you've learned that you're still kind of keeping to yourself or share some of the things that you deeply believe in when it comes to spirituality, religion, um, whatever practice you're involved in. All right, let's see. Yeah, take action. <laughs> be more confident. Ace of Swords. You're definitely being called to use your voice here. Like in a new way. <laughs> in a new way that aligns with your true self. So, okay, if there's any um, struggles that you're going through right now when it comes to figuring out what's the path for you or which way you should maneuver in a certain situation, you're being divinely guided to find those solutions. So, for instance, if you've been questioning, like, you know, what career should I pursue or should I actually go for it? for this or what else can I do to sort of like learn more and branch out all that information guidance and clarity is going to come your way it's just you got to trust it and do something with it all right because I feel like you guys already are like <laughs> you already know what's meant for you but perhaps you just lack faith in it so you're being divinely guided to build your faith not only in yourself in the universe, God, but in what it is you can do, in what it is you have to offer. Explore yourself and look at this, the Empress. This is so beautiful. <laughs> With the Nine of Cups underneath, once you step into this energy where you are like confident and you're like, you know what, this is what I am, and you move forward on plans and ideas that have been divinely given to you. And this is an idea that has been with you for some time now, all right? <laughs> um, but I feel like even just now and recently, you will come into even more ideas. And it's so important that you act on these business ideas or these ideas to express yourself in a new way or anything that's more creative because this is gonna bring you growth. This is going to bring you so much abundance. You even got the Hierophant and the Empress card here. Okay, so some of you guys could be in a committed relationship already, and I see that this could very well lead to marriage or just more kindness and more love between the both of you. It's almost like you guys are being divinely guided to open up to another more. And if you're not in a relationship, you will be divinely guided to a relationship that's like that. As some of you guys have been trying for children or want to become a parent, that will definitely happen one day. 
Um, but you know what? I see you changing. I see your wants in this life changing. Like you're going to go through this maturity process. And I feel like this has already started to some degree. Like you have made the initiative to apply yourself, learn more, commit yourself to just becoming a better person and leveling up in some type of way. But it's almost as if you're still piecing everything together of how everything's going to play out and how you're going to get what you want and how you're going to get there or what that path should even be like some of you guys as i said you still kind of question what you should be doing in life and you should honestly be doing something that's creative that you invent so if you've been thinking okay should i take more of a traditional route when it comes to my career or whatever it is that i'm pursuing like there's a purpose between going through that learning phase of following what's traditional and what works for other people but i see at some point you were meant to branch out and incorporate your own creativity in this so as i said if you've been thinking okay should i pursue more of a traditional path i see that you should definitely get a degree or become knowledgeable in more like traditional things but no I think you should go with you know what you truly love to do and what you're in creatively inclined to do that comes natural to you and I see this being something business oriented so you guys are being divided divinely guided to more self-love honestly to know that you got it like that that you are good like that because that's been something you've been having a hard time trusting it's almost like you doubt your ability to bring in abundance, <laughs> to be seen and to be loved. And maybe that's why you've been holding yourself back for so long, especially when it comes to certain things that you got to say or that you wish to express, like, because you have knowledge, like, I'm telling you, whether you see this for yourself or not, you definitely are <laughs> learning a lot right now. And you have learned a lot, like there's so much about you that you could be moving forward on and that you could be sharing so this is a really good reading if you've been wondering like okay should i start my own business yes this is your sign to do so okay should i like put myself out there in a new way should i say what's on my heart what's on my mind yes you should do so like as long as you're not trying to you know live up to anybody's standards or expectations like yes like you should 100 percent be your natural true self like that's like the huge message here all right so you even got the nine of cups so i see your business becoming like very favorable blooming reaching the status risk reaching the position that you've always wished for this life where it's like i don't have to worry about money i don't have to worry about who's watching my content you know it's just like there's always stuff going for me there's always stuff going on around me like i see you being very abundant um you know you don't have to worry about who agrees with you who doesn't who has something to say about your path and who's low-key hating like you don't have to worry about any of that you will reach that point and it's going to be when you start to embody that energy that you'll start to see your reality shift with it okay so this is going to take you um really just learning what way works for you and honoring that and then also voicing it because as i said you guys are already knowledgeable but I feel like you've just been holding back a little bit too much when it comes to expressing you. And it's time to like take it up a notch and speak on the things that you got to speak on, that you're knowledgeable in, that you strongly believe in. Okay, so go for that business idea. Go for putting something new into that business that you already have going for you or whatever it is that you already have going like you're meant to add something else into it and you know what this is i just feel like you know you've been kind of like unclear if this is actually what you should do <laughs> all right so let's get into the oracle now let me just clarify this look that hermit wanted to pop out <laughs> that hermit wanted to pop out what the high priest is that this hermit was at the bottom of the deck when i pulled the hierophant what's that say you're very wise You've just been keeping something to yourself and you're kind of like speculating, hmm, you know, like, is this really for me? Is this really what I should be doing? Like, I feel like you guys are strongly gifted at something that you don't 
see how gifted you actually are for yourself. And because of that, you've been sort of shying away from sharing this part of you or expressing it, or it's like you have some sort of deep held belief and knowledge about something that you're meant to share. I see you really just finding your way. And this is just telling you that you will find your way when it comes to your path, when it comes to your direction. You know, sometimes our path, sometimes our direction change, or more so just how we go about it. And you know, I see you gaining that clarity. I see you gaining that confidence. You're really finding yourself right now on a whole, whole new level. So you're going to be learning more. You're going to be discovering talents, interests, things that you're good at that you kind of doubted or never knew that you were into. So this is like a beautiful journey here. But again, this is telling me that you guys are like keeping certain knowledge, certain things to yourself, and you need to like speak on these things now. You're being divinely guided to be a guide for others where you divinely guide people. Okay, so this is you being a teacher, being an advisor. But really when it comes down to it, it's just about you speaking on what you're truly believe in or that you're knowledgeable in. Okay, so take it how it resonates with you personally. You even got the hanged one underneath. Yeah, you're going through this shift right now. You're letting certain things go. And I see your mind elevating as well. Like you're actually getting to a much better, beautiful space. Like you're growing. I think too many times you played the sidelines um, and you used to stress a lot, but your mind is transforming to this point where it's like, okay, I'm not going to stress over the things that I can't control. It is what it is. And because of that, you're actually really starting to see not only situations for what they are, but you, like who you are at the truest core and you know and it's because you're getting into a much better space mentally so if this hasn't happened yet it will so green number two what are they being divinely guided towards man holding a heart <laughs> an angel of love your love life is definitely going to get better what did i say i did speak on love a little bit see i feel like this is some of you guys are holding secret feelings for somebody and you need to speak on this <laughs> or somebody's holding secret feelings for you if you've been wondering but i feel like whoever is holding these secret feelings is definitely the masculine here or at least the masculine is the one who needs to express it trust me especially if you're a woman watching this and you know this man is feeling some type of way about you and you're feeling some type of way about them but there just needs to be this honest discussion no you need and especially if you're not in a committed relationship if you're in a committed relationship that's a little bit different okay because sometimes that's like you both you know speak on things but if you're not even with this person do not come to them first and try to tell them how you feel i mean i'm personally i'm not all for that i did that once in my life you know and that's how i got into tarot with the whole twin flame but that was before i even knew what a twin flame was it was a crazy story um, I don't regret it necessarily, but <laughs> just don't do that if you're a woman. Just don't do that. Like, no, the, the man is supposed to come to the woman. That, that's fighting nature, okay? Um, but this is saying, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing right now. Yeah, I feel like you guys will attract in a genuine, caring partner if you don't already have one. And if you are going through... Something with your partner right now, as I was saying a little bit earlier, I see your love blooming. Like I see you guys going to the next stage and this could even be guiding you to be more understanding or loving to your current partner um, or them becoming more loving and understanding of you. Like I'm getting really good love vibes here. If your partner has been going through something like, um, you know, struggles in their daily life, their health, anything like that their finances i see them getting a better hold of that as well okay and for those of you single um you know there's definitely somebody due to come in here as soon as you really just kind of make the initiative to just be in your empress energy like uh, -uh i don't chase i attract i'm just me i love myself like i don't need anybody around me like i'm good and it's not in like a a stuck up way it's just like you know I'm happy. I'm comfortable me in my own time. Like I have things going for me outside of this, you know? So I'm not all consumed 
by a man or by who's going to come in my life next. But anyway, let's get into it because I feel like we're kind of getting off track here because that, <laughs> that ain't going to resonate for everybody because I feel like some of you guys are already in this relationship. All right, so, and others of you, you're just holding secret feelings. Even if you are in a relationship, this is definitely a theme here of needing to express yourself from the heart because it will be met back with love. I feel like you need to be more open, more vulnerable. All right, so green number two. What are they being divinely led towards? And this also goes to say that your ancestors, your guides, God, you know, whoever it is that you personally connect with, they are guiding your path with love. Like, you know, sometimes it may have been a little bit of trial and error. There may have been times where you felt held back, but this is just letting you know, like your path in life is blessed. It does not end here. You're only going to grow. You're only going to learn more, come into more, you know, so be more kind to yourself. You got family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So yeah, really, I am getting that. Like, especially with this Empress, Empress is, Empress is mommy vibes, okay? So if you've been wanting to become a mother or if you have one day want a kid, I said that a little bit earlier, this is 100% going to happen for you. Those of you who already do have a family or, you know, anything like that, I just see that you're being divinely led to sort of like Focus more on those who matter most within your family, whether it be your kids, your partner. Um, but overall, I definitely do see changes when it comes to your relationships and your family life. Like I see you guys starting a new chapter together, whether that be welcoming kids of your own if you don't already have them or getting married or, you know, just honestly feeling more connected to one another and having more of a genuine open space for one another <laughs> and it's going to improve your relationship it's going to improve your quality time i'm laughing because sometimes the things i say like i word my words so weird sometimes <laughs> i need to work on my speech honestly all right so let's do let's do one more then we're going to get into your word scrabble all right so what are they being divinely led towards square a challenging situation and a mountain to climb. Oh my god. House seven. Profound relationships, intimacies, and romantic partnerships. Wow. This is crazy because when I was first speaking, I felt a lot about like your spiritual path, your career path evolving. Um, and now this is really showing up about love too. I mean, I did pick up on love a little bit here, but then boom, look at all this like and I'm not even just talking about romantic love. I'm talking about like family, partnerships of every kind that you can trust, you know. Um, so any issues you're going through within that, this is being resolved. And you're being led to all the right people, you know. I feel like there has been some setbacks when it comes to family. Maybe you come from a rough background or people who didn't really believe in what it is that you believe or agree with your lifestyle. But I also see that changing. I see people becoming more accepting of you and what you do and what you believe. Yeah. So you're being divinely led to all the right relationships for you. And those of you who are already with your partner, as I said, there may have been some challenges within your intimacy or truly generally connecting, but I also see that changing. I see you forming really solid friends, people you can count on, and a great romantic partner if you don't have one already. And like I said a million times, if you do, oh my gosh, wait, I'm sorry. I have to read this right now. Through me, a new age is birthed. And for that to happen, the old and outdated must fall away and crumble. I allowed to happen. Now, that's a little affirmation that just popped up on my TV. But the reason why I had to say that birthed and you have the empress here and this is talking about family and kids so some of you may be pregnant right now okay or that's something you want to happen <laughs> you're being divinely led to make that happen once you get your career set or you just more so feel more set within yourself or settle down with the right person yes that was great 
All right, so let's get into your word scrabble here. Definitely big changes in your relationship for the better, for the better. All right, so grid number two, what are they being to finally led towards? You know, and I think this also goes to say that if you've been neglecting family or if you've been neglecting, kind of putting certain connections on the back burner, you know, make sure you make time for that, especially if you've been so busy with school or with work or just figuring things out for yourself. Like you, you don't want to, you don't want to neglect the people who truly do matter, you know? So I think that's another thing here. Okay. Cause look, you're set. You're being divinely guided to be set up in life. Like this is so much more than just money. You know, this is like money you don't even have to think about because it just comes to you naturally. You, you don't have to go without. Like you have everything that you need and you even have a little extra to treat yourself. It's just like the money flow is good. And because it's good, you have the freedom to just be. And it's not like you're in this hyper consumerism energy either where it's like I want I want I need I actually see you being divinely guided to appreciate more of the simplicity of life and the simplicity within your practice and your beliefs like there's a theme here as well so you may start to feel more guided and connected to nature or certain animals or plants even like I see you could be taking up gar gardening or um feeding the animals more just like things like that like i feel like you're really going to change and start to grow more of an appreciation for the things that you used to look past because you were so stressed about putting things into position you know so i see you just like kind of really growing into this beautiful energy and i feel like a part of you already is in this energy but it's definitely going to advance like i see you coming into like um you know, just really liking the small joys of life. Lean. Okay, so some of you guys could be getting more lean. <laughs> lean on me when I'm not strong. That's the song I just got. I'll be your friend. Yeah, because there is something here about like family and friends too. So somebody you can lean on. You will also be the person that other people can lean on because you just, you have good energy. You're so, you know a lot. And I see this being in your home, but also within your career. So someone's name could be Nevea. I think that's how you spell it. Wait. No, that's how you spell it. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I'm not good at this. All right, let's see what else we got. Um late yeah you may think you're too late or you wish you would have done things later i was going on and on about like kids but some of you guys you already do have kids or you could have recently had a baby um i don't know i just really feel like be careful because you definitely still are fertile so um even if that is the case you got men here yeah, it's not too late. Like, it's not too late to start a family. It's not too late to start your business. Take whatever side of it you vibe on here. Um, pray. Where the heck? We don't have... Oh, wait. Yes. We do have a blank space. So, life is what you make it. <laughs> pray. Yeah. So, you guys are going to start praying more. Or you already are very devoted to your prayer life, like practice. I feel like you guys have a deep faith. Whether you nurtured enough or not, that's another story. But you have a very strong, deep faith and belief. Whether it be in like your heritage, okay, because you did get the hierophant here. Um, like so like your ancestors or this could be just like certain cultural traditions that you withhold. So like r certain religions, okay. You're definitely a person of faith, a person of tradition, and I see this living on through those who came before you. So, you know, what? it can even just be like things like you really generally value family and home life and quality time. And these were things that were passed down to you, okay, through people who came before you. So that's why. So maybe you're being encouraged to learn more about your background and where you came from and also 
kind of learn more about how other people do things just to kind of really find what's right for you. Okay, yeah, so something with that. Now, I'm getting Frey. That's like a band, I think. Yeah, I think that, you know what that song, like, How to Save a Life? Is that Frey? That, that's a song that just came to my mind, so. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Something with a friend. Oh, and I was just, that other song I was singing said something about a friend, didn't it? Lean on me. Yeah. I feel like you're going to have good friends in your circle. Maybe you feel like these people couldn't have been couldn't have been trusted around like your your man or your woman or maybe you've just been lacking friends that are sort of fitting in with this new life especially if you have recently just gone back to school or became a mom or got married or you know whatever the case may be so i see more people coming in all right so yes oh we can spell nella nella is my cat Nella's the cat who I think is my spirit guide. I love Nella so much. I can't even explain it. I love my mind too, but <laughs> Nella is special to my heart. Look, I can even spell Miley. That's my other cat. <laughs> but her name's basically my Miley. So some of you guys, you may have a cat. You may end up getting a cat. Um, someone's name could be Miley. Or someone's name could be Ella because we did get that here Ella you're also getting yes okay yes but this could be a no <laughs> it's just up to you <laughs> honestly and that's another thing that you're coming into you're being divinely guided to kind of learn how to trust your own guidance which I feel like you've have but you definitely have gone back and forth within trusting it at times all right so let's see you also got tea, so some of you guys could be tea drinkers, or there may be some gossip or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get a few. Okay, we're also getting sea, so some of you guys, you could live by the ocean, visit the ocean frequently, or you will this summer or, you know, this year. Let's, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So you could also be really connected to, like, water. Hmm. <laughs> I'm also getting lit, so something lit here. All right, I think that's all I'm getting. Um, of course, if any words pop out for you that you can form, take that as your extra personal sign. And thank you so much for being here today. Let me know how it resonated with you. Number three, what are you being divinely guided towards? All right. My growth and healing will sometimes unfold gracefully and sometimes it will happen through pain. All is okay. I trust that I'm spacious enough to feel every reality and then let it go. So that is the affirmation that just showed up on my TV because I have like little music playing in the background. So maybe that means something for you. All right, but let's look into what you're being divinely guided towards. Group number three. What are you being divinely I take a while to shuffle. Sometimes I got to add in a little random note here. Ten of Cups. And you've got the Four of Cups underneath. So if you've been feeling a little bit like an outcast or like you don't fit in with a certain group of people, a certain niche, or you just want to find your people in general, I see this happening for you. All right. We're going to... um. Pull out all the cards here before we get to yapping too much but <laughs> um i really just see like personal issues healing for you especially in terms when it comes to your family your friend group and finding your place and where you belong all right so group number three what are they being divinely guided towards what are they being look six of wands with the chariot yeah you're really overcoming any problem. All right, let's see. Let's get one more card, then we're going to... Okay, one more card. Eight of Wands. Wow, you're moving fast. Queen of Swords. All right, so let me take a minute to soak everything in. But what I want to tell you right now, things will develop and move so quickly for you once you get serious with yourself. 
once you know like okay this is what i bring to the table this is who i am and you make a firm decision on how things are going to be and you just keep showing up and you just keep <laughs> keep on doing the dang thing and i see this being within your voice and how you express yourself so if you've been thinking about making writing or talking more putting your messages out there in some type of way stay consistent keep doing this because things will develop for you quickly all right you got the ten of cups six of wands the chariot and the eight of wands so there was a point where you felt a little bit uncertain on how you were going to get through certain situations like even if you should be pursuing certain paths because is this really for me will it become successful you know but you're being divinely guided to little milestones and goals that you will reach that kind of puts things into perspectives that get you feeling good about your goals again knowing that this isn't the be like this isn't the ending this is only the beginning for you and I really do see like any issues you've been having about like fitting in or just finding your place, you're overcoming that and you're finding your people. And you know what I see though? This is like your determination. This is your ability to not give up, to not back down. Have strong willpower because you will find your way through this. Once you build up this strong belief within yourself, it's almost like you're going to become unstoppable. You don't even got time to look back at the results. Like, you're just getting up each day and you're doing the damn thing. You're saying what you got to say. You're doing what you got to do. And you're letting the chips fall where they will. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, like, a stronger strategy. A stronger strategy that you're sticking with as well. And things are only developing. I also see you guys like moving or changing careers soon. No, but I am getting something very seriously about a house here now that I say that. Because look, this is crazy. You got the Eight of Wands. There's a house in the Eight of Wands. And isn't that funny? Because, you know, the traditional Eight of Wands does not have a house in it. It's literally just a bunch of wands flying throughout the air here. So you guys will be in a position where you will be able to buy a home or buy another home or a vacation home like you are going to be set up honestly you're being divinely guided to become the person that you've always needed for yourself show yourself the way motivate your own self and if you notice this six of wands traditionally he has a bunch of people around him cheering him on and the horse in the traditional six of wands he looks a little uncertain he's looking back like man do we really got this and this man just put on a show he's like yeah we got this come on this is a win right now enjoy the moment and even the people you know they're around them and some of the people are gossiping like you know they may not even be true supporters they're just kind of you know <laughs> it's kind of hard not to look at this dude like he's putting on a good show he got a good thing going for them so, you know so this tells me everybody can see it within you but when are you going to start to see this within yourself and this also tells me like you are being divinely guided out of this place where you're not seeking external validation anymore all right your horse is secure this horse ain't glancing back to see and like oh man do we really got this dude wait hold on let me see if i can pull where's my other tarot deck hold on i know my videos are forever long but hey that's okay right because i kind of want to show you guys now if you're a reader if you're oh look it's right on top what a coincidence see there ain't no coincidence don't you're being divinely guided to believe that there is no coincidences so if you want to pursue something when you're going through challenges know that this only makes you greater because right now i feel like there's been too much focus on the competition or man is this going to be successful and, and just kind of backtracking your choices and you know like uh, -uh no time for this but look let me show you now all right, so you see the traditional horse right here. Sorry, I, got, I stepped away from the microphone. <laughs> but, all right, let me see. So you see this traditional horse. Look at this horse. He's like, I am back. He's like, man, do we really got this man? This horse ain't doing that. This horse knows, okay? So you're being divinely guided to be certain of yourself, to not seek this external validation when it comes to what you feel and what you know is for you. Hmm, you will succeed beyond leaps and bounds, my friends. <laughs> so anything that has been causing you internal conflict because you've been comparing yourself way too much, 
needing validation through your fan base or through your family, your community, you know, in order for you to decide if you should actually pursue or go after something, all those days are over. Like, honestly, and I see you now, it's almost like you guys are being divinely guided to starting to see who is already loves you, who's already around you. And just by noticing that simple fact of like, hey, you know, I don't need 10 million people around me. All I need is a few good people who have my back. That's going to give you all the grace and motivation that you need to move forward and go towards new pursuits here. You're going to overcome any problem that's currently in your way. Trust me. And I see this mostly doing with like self-confidence or, you know, at one point you were just doubting yourself a little bit too much because you took into consideration other people, what they had to say or how it was being perceived or supported, but you're moving beyond that. I also see you guys like being divinely guided to make yourself like feel more attractive. So maybe you are a little bit camera shy or you feel a little bit insecure, um, you know, or you're kind of like afraid to speak your mind and apply for certain jobs or to go after certain positions or, you know, put yourself out there in a certain way because, uh, I don't know, whatever the case may be, but you're being divinely guided to build those weaknesses up, okay, so that they can become your strength. So any area that you feel like you're a little bit insecure or lack within, you're being divinely guided to build those areas up because, you know, right now you don't want to let those things be the things that hold you back. There's no holding back for you. There's only forward movement. So I also see like, again, as I was saying, traveling, buying a house. Um, this could even be like getting a car if these were all things that you were wanting. And I just see better connections, a solid home and family life. If there's been any issues with that or more so just like finding your place and feeling like, I don't know, you don't belong. Look, there's even a house in this one too. Yeah. Something with your house here. Options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So what I see for this is that you're being divinely guided to go after a career that truly aligns with you. And most of you, that won't be necessarily changing careers. It could just be how you were presenting yourself within certain careers, or it could just be like kind of using the same degree or knowledge that you have, but going to a different employer or branching out and doing your own thing. Okay, something like that. You also did get the counseling. So you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. You're meant to do something with your voice here, okay? Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. You just have to build this confidence within your voice and within the things that you have to say. And you're being divinely guided to do that right now. You know, sometimes motivation and confidence, like so a lot of times people will wait until they feel ready or until they feel motivated or confident. But you're never going to actually feel ready for something that you've never done before. You know, you're really not. <laughs> and and it's going to be the confidence and the motivation that comes as a result of continuously doing something over and over and over again. The confidence and the motivation ain't just going to hit you one day and then it's like, oh, yep, I'm ready. No, you have to do it scared. You have to do it when you feel uncertain. And trust me, you're going to get better. It's going to start to become much more natural to you. And then that's how you know, like, hey, I've grown. So it's time to start putting your voice out there. It's time to start putting yourself out there. Because even if you are in a career right now, um, I definitely see you're meant to do something in the public eye in some type of way, whether this is you self-promoting or branching out and going after something that you've been wanting to do on the side, outside of your everyday, um, you know, because you need it. Like, your work is needed. People will find you entertaining. People will like what you have to offer. So, 100% go for it. You even got school underneath. So, some of you guys, you could have been feeling divinely guided to go back to school. Or more so, just kind of like go back to school with yourself. Re-strategize. Re-plan. And this is you being divinely guided to do so. I, I would highly suggest like a financial plan for you guys. Or... Not even, I mean, a financial plan is good for anybody, but 
I mean, like, it could also just be, like, a strategy. Like, okay, this is how I'm going to do things. But, you know, don't stall and don't stay paralyzed within the planning stages. But with the chariot, you know, it being the number seven. Um, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Look at this. I didn't even realize this until now. Six, seven, eight. You are on the right track. If you've been thinking, like, am I on the right track? Like, no, you're 100% are on the right path. <laughs> this is going in order, going step by step. So... As I was saying, definitely a huge theme here of you being divinely guided to get things more into order, like structure things in a way that makes things feel more orderly for you, okay? You don't want to make things harder than they have to be. And you got infinite abundance here, yeah, so you're meant to have it like that. And this butterfly I was instantly drawn towards, and this girl even has butterfly on her wings right here. So... It's almost like your own transformation will be transformational to other people. Through you speaking about some of your hardships, things that you've had to go, go through. Or just you transforming so much your gifts will transform and it's going to transform other people's lives. Okay. So it could be through things that you actually openly express and share about. Or it could just be you taking a chance on yourself, building this confidence within yourself, your skill, whatever it is that you do becomes so much better. It's able to reach more people that generally need you and it's going to be transformative for not only you, but other people. Yeah. <laughs> so you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose this is what you're being called to do right now that's what you're being divinely led towards no more playing it small it's time to devote yourself in a specific area go all in and see what happens like i feel like you need to pick up the slack a little bit <laughs> it may sound a little bit harsh but look at these cards this is somebody who's like high energy go 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 fit things moving fast and maybe you have been feel a little bit delayed within your action because you feel like it won't amount up to anything or you've just been waiting for the right moment the right chance to strike but this is you being divinely guided no there ain't no right moment right chance to strike you you do it now you do it tomorrow and you do it the day after that and you keep showing up and you see where that gets you all right, so we're going on a tangent here, but yeah, you're meant to live a financially free life. So if that doesn't align with your current position where you got the money and the time, it's time to start putting things in motion. It's time to start develop developing a plan and branching out when it comes to how you bring money in, how you bring clients in or supporters. All right, so let's get a couple more. Group number three. What are they being divinely guided towards? You could be a fire sign. You could, you could be a cancer. Um, you don't have to be. I just like to say that. Or you could have any of those in your big three. Or this could also be telling you check where you have cancerian or also seventh house because there is a theme here about partnerships or fire in your chart. Okay, when you look at your own personal chart and see what house that sign is predominant in, that can also kind of give you a key point of what energy needs to be utilized. So say, for instance, if you have um, like a fire or Leo, Leo in particular here, if you have Leo in your seventh house, well, that's telling you to put more bravery and passion when it comes to your partnerships and connecting with people okay so i'm not an astrologer by any means but i am getting something with that here of like you looking into those things like knowing yourself more all right so you got yin intuition trust patience spirituality and receptivity yeah so this is like okay you can take action, go, 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 because as I was saying, these cards are really calling you to get a move on, but you don't want to do so in a forceful way. You want to stay connected to yourself. Like, I think it goes to say that yeah, sometimes it can seem like, okay, how do I say this? So it's almost like you want to be in that flow state, but that's not what I was trying to say. I mean, yes, that's what I'm trying to say, but it's almost like, okay, sometimes it can feel like too much to go after and show up for ourselves and our goals every single day. But when we're in this yin energy of 
in tune with our intuition and in a more patient energy where we're not so caught up with the proceedings of where that action will bring. We're a lot more receptive and that action starts to feel like not as heavy as it once felt if that makes sense. So I also see your intuition enhancing your sense of trust within yourself, your gifts, and your path, and being more patient. So a lot of you guys, like you have some sort of spiritual gift, or you're definitely intuitive in some way, and you're being divinely guided to enhance and nurture that more. All right, so let's give one more for you. What are they being divinely guided towards? Sorry if you just heard that. I just like swallowed. Taurus, trust, patience, and sensuality. Look, you got trust and patience twice. You just need to be patient. Trust me, everything is going to work out. I feel like you guys worry so much because you're trying to create the best life for yourself or live up to an image in some type of way like it almost feels like you have people counting on you or you want to be that person that other people can count on or that will always go to you know like some of you like you generally have family and maybe you feel like you haven't been able to spend enough time with them or you know whatever the case is for you but this is telling you trust patience you're being divinely guided to step more into that energy so things will begin to develop for you and start to feel much easier as well okay dream and transcend yeah don't sleep on your dreams because neptune that's a very like how do i say this <laughs> it's a very like out of the box out of the norm type planet it's like revolutionary almost well that's kind of like you're on it you're uh you're honest a little bit but but this neptune i just think a lot of times you guys can get caught up in like a daydream but this is telling you to transcend that make it re make it your reality all right trust your out of the box nature okay so group number three what are they being divinely guided towards okay you got the the D just popped out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. It's time to devote yourself. And the L. Let's see if this camera's still rolling. All right. Um. Got. Okay. So there's something you're going to be getting. Or there's something that you already got. I was, I think I was saying a little bit earlier, um, I'm not even sure because I get too caught up in these readings, but I think you're really just going to start to see what you have to work with, like in a new way. And that's really going to put you in a better energy where you're feeling good about yourself and recognizing how far you did come and how much you have accomplished, you know, and working with what you got here. So, you know, utilizing it fully, your resources, um, the support that you already have. You also got ride. Okay, we don't have an E. <laughs> Let's get some more ones. All right, tell me if an E just popped out here. That would be funny. No, it was an L. <laughs> but I do think, um, I am mean, getting something with like a car here. As I said earlier, something with a car. Ride. It could even be like you getting like a van or um, like a work truck or something like that. Um, <laughs> but others of you definitely new car. Sorry. I just said, um, like a million times. You're just going to have to, <laughs> I don't know, accept it because I got to work on my own speech. <laughs> Let's see. Fit. Yeah. I see you getting more fit. That kind of showed up in every group here, but you're also just finding where you fit in. Like, your trust, not even more so finding, trusting that this is where you fit in. This is what you're meant to be doing. All right. So when I seen this, I was thinking of portal. Can we spell it? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> we don't have an, we don't have an A. Wow. But that's close enough, ain't it? <laughs> so with that, I see you just kind of getting into your own zone where it's like you got tunnel vision like you know people are noticing you but you're not even looking at them because you're you're like okay i just gotta do what i gotta do 
and it's not in like a snobby way it's just in a way where it's like okay i can't allow other people to distract me right now from my goals and i, I can't allow who supported me and who isn't sway me from my vision from my focus so you know that's a beautiful energy all right <laughs> it's not like you're being arrogant or anything it's just like sometimes you got to know when it's time to sort of pull away from the outside noise okay zit i'm getting zit so some of you guys could have a pimple right now or maybe you suffer with like acne um i see you overcoming that i just see you like maybe taking better care of like your skin um kind of a little bizarre but okay we don't have an a that's crazy we always have an a i feel like what am i doing here so we got it <laughs> kits okay you're finding all the right things some of you guys could be flying a, flying a kite soon <laughs> or this is even just you taking off all right string i'm getting something with string some of you guys may be into fashion do we have an n no we don't but it's close enough <laughs> Maybe it's just like one little thing that you're missing to string everything together. And that one little thing is your confidence, your belief in self. Like the faith and the belief ain't just going to come at your doorstep one day. Like you, you got to build that faith and that belief by just taking action, you know? Yeah. So I am getting something like you guys will either start to dress better or actually do something with like fashion, whether you just kind of like post your outfits more, right? make yourself get all dressed. Yeah. Cause I think I said something earlier about like doing stuff to make you feel more attractive. I did, didn't I? Yeah. So with this, this is making me think like you guys may actually start to do something with like fashion, whether it be you branding out clothes or creating clothes yourself or you know, I, I just am getting something with that. So what else do we got here? Kitten. Oh, that's so cute. We don't have an N. I keep missing. <laughs> okay, so some of you guys could be getting a kitten. Or maybe there already is like a, a stray kitten or something. The reason why I said that is because this made me think of stray. But we don't have an A. We don't have a Y. Man, we're really messing it up here today. <laughs> I'm off my game. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I'm kind of, oh, that's all right. That's close enough though, right? All right. So, oh, this just made me think of genius. But again, we don't have an end. I just feel like you have such great ideas. You're just going to start to see what you are the genius in within your own zone. It's like certain people are better at other things naturally. You're finding like you're knowing like, okay, this is what I am the genius of. Like, you're starting to see what you're good at, what you're smart at, basically. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see. I was going to read that little affirmation that showed up on the TV, TV again, but then it kind of vanished. So, let's see. You got pot. So, some of you guys may be <laughs> eating pot roast or something, or you're finding the pot of gold at the end of the tunnel. Maybe you smoke pot. I don't know, but <laughs> let's see. look video yeah I, I feel like a lot of you you already are an influencer or you already are working towards the goal of you know having some type of community business brand <laughs> um that's popular you know that uh, like it's almost like you are like the person that people look up to or go to okay so Making videos branching out in that way will definitely be helpful for you. Some of you, you already do make videos, but you're just starting to feel, it will, it's going to start to feel much more natural to take action on this. And I just think before you kind of were looking to the wrong things to validate how great you are. Dang, we don't have an A. That's really messing us up here. <laughs> All right, pretend the A's right there. You know, sometimes you just got to pretend that you have a crowd full of people lined up at your door, ready to buy what you're selling. A crowd full of people sitting in the audience as you perform or speak on stage. A, a million people who are watching your videos, like, 
you know, sometimes you just got to imagine the success before it actually comes and just start acting like it's already there. Like, what would you be thinking? What would you be feeling? What would you be doing? Doing if you already were in this position. It's time to start doing that. Or just pretend nobody's there. I think that kind of helps me a little bit more, honestly. <laughs> like, pretend nobody's there and just pretend like, hey, I'm just doing this for fun. This is made for me. You know, just going to depend on the type of person you are but I think that actually helps me sometimes because <laughs> um all right so let's see like say for instance if you if you already are somebody who has an audience or you know you already do publicly speak or stand up in some way or advertise something and you know sometimes you just got to pretend like nobody's there nobody's going to see it and just put your best forward and that's what's going to give you a much more natural flow where you just feel confident and you're just being you all right, so enough chitter chatter. I've been talking a while here. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a couple more names. Um, if we even got any at this point. <laughs> and then we're going to get into this. So I did get, I did hear the name Tuck, but we don't have a C. Go figure, right? That's been happening a lot with this reading. <laughs> I just think you've been realizing the one thing that you think you're missing is actually just you. <laughs> so... All right. Yeah. <laughs> Jets. Okay. So, yeah. As I said, some of you guys could be traveling soon. I'm getting Jetter. I don't even know if that's a name. Oh. Greet. Some of you guys will be doing, like, meet and greets. People will be, like, wanting to come up to you and talk to you. You'll reach this status one day, <laughs> if not already there, or it will definitely enhance. Okay, but I just feel like there's going to be new versions of yourself, new chapters of life that you are greeting in. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Definitely le let me know how it resonated for you, and I will see you next time. Bye.